Okay guys, so we're getting ready for the Rangers game. We've got Arta Boric in goal, Afori, Brian Keady Jr, Tony Brown and Doka across the back. Hayden Bell and Mr Monkey midfield. On the left wing, David Anderson. On the right wing, Joachim San Clement. And up front, Simone and Bailey. And those two are lethal. Absolutely prodigious strike force that is. All the players look pretty damn happy. Let's go to the game. And yeah, it was my birthday yesterday. 40. Absolute 40. I'm a proper old git now. It's official. Um... Who's Kevin Aguidello? They're number seven. Jason Kerr I recognise. Robbie McCrory I recognise. The rest of them, I don't know. It's 2025 in the game now, so I think they started to get a few new gens as well as us. Um, I'll have a little look, see. Steve Cave Gemma. Okay. Well, here we go. David Anderson. Lofting one in for Martin Bailey. He's headed it over the keeper. McCrory came for it. He didn't get it. Martin Bailey gets his 26th goal of the season. Nine minutes gone. Celtic 1, Rangers 0. Come on, boys. Come on, the boys. If only Celtic could play like this in, rain, uh, in real life. If only Rangers could play like this in real life. Bloody hell. Um, check her now. Less said about the Ross County result, the better, I think. Here's Checker. Aidan Bell with a good tackle. San Clement looking for Simone. He's through. One on one. Oh, dinks it over the keeper. It's. 22nd goal of the season for him. Celtic 2, Rangers 0. Just a minute after Martin Bailey's got his goal. It's 2 0 in the 10th minute. Honestly, I think Neil Lennon is obviously going to go at the end of the season. But at this rate, I'm thinking about putting my FM21 CV in. <laughs> I can't do much worse. And we're leading Rangers by 12 points already after just 15 games. Martin Bailey heads that on. Hayden Bell gives it back to him. He plays it to a four out on the wide right hand side now. Doka crosses. Claimed by McCrory. Wide right hand side. Not easy to say that. <laughs> Need to stick my teeth in. Brian Keady to David Anderson. He lays it off for Simone. He's down the left-hand side. Can he dig out a cross? Oh, he's tackled. Doka's the left-back coming forward. Well, King launches one forward, but there's only Brian Keady there to receive it. Hayden Bell. Oh, what a great pass for Joaquim San Clement. Hayden Bell through the eye of the needle. What a pass. Hayden Bell's been in exceptional form. Look at this pass. Oh, he took out four defenders there. Straight into San Clement. That is a brilliant pass. Hayden Bell, oh, top corner would have finished it off. It's 3-0 now, 20 minutes gone. San Clement puts the corner in. Yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, if you want to like a weekend Barcelona save where it's like La Masia, where we can only use the youth players. Um, or if you want another save, like Scotland versus the Premier League. You know, we put the Scottish national team against the Premier League. quite happy to do experiments as well I'm gonna try and uh, keep ahead with the games always Monday to Friday 11 o'clock Celtic save here's Martin Bailey 
Oh, Simone finishes it with a plum. 23rd goal of the season. Bailey was tackled, but it fell nicely for Simone. 4 0 before half time. We're absolutely routing Rangers right now. Oh, Jason Kerr doing us a favour there. A former player. Oh, there we go. 4 0. Delighted, boys. Keep it up. Great performance so far. So Tony Brown and the Fourie both got yellow cards. I think we may, just if we can, um, bring on Graham Gabby and Ronald Martins to make sure we don't get anyone sent off. Um, it is Rangers, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Aidan Bell nearly scored there. Joaquim San Clement's coming off for the last 10 minutes. Hell of a game, 8.1 out of 10. Got a goal as well. Cinderella's come on for him. Mr. Monkey. Oh, to David Anderson. Can't stop the man. Can't stop David Anderson. Slotting that one in the back of the net. Mr. Monkey putting it in the mixer. 14th goal of the season. Five nil should have been more really four nil by half time should have been a lot more Simone eight point two San Clement eight point two good game done really well great win for us there boys see the media reaction Joaquim San Clement looked good and helped Celtic absolutely dominate there you go pretty happy about that all things considered hashtag chuffed. Great result, can't believe how good we were. More of the same next match, please. There you go. So, big up the boys. Big as up. There we go. And we've got Aberdeen in the Betfred Cup final. Then we've got Manchester United. Bloody hell. Some big games coming fast. Okay, so we're about to play Aberdeen in the Betfred Cup final. And David Anderson's got injured in training. Bugger. Um, so, uh, let's see. Looks like it's Melia. Um, Malia. I'm going to call him Malia. Let's call him Malia. Um, he comes in and. Let's bring in Matondo on the bench just in case we need to replace him at left wing. So I think we're pretty good. Martin can cover both full back positions. Gabby's a centre half. Morelli can cover midfield. Cinarelli can cover the right. Matondo can cover the left. And Ramon can cover the striker positions. I think we're pretty good. Other than that, pretty straightforward. Same team as last time against Rangers in that 5 0 victory. Just Smelia coming in for. Or Melia coming in for. Um, David Anderson. Sadly missing out in the final. I think we're good. Let's go. Let's get cracking. All the players look happy. Yeah. And the assistant would have brought Emilia for Anderson as well. So just one change. Now Jack Andrew used to play for us. As did Dane Murray. Uh, they've got Dean Campbell there. Barry Coffey used to play for us. Okay. Calvin Rams is a former Celtic uh, player as well, so should be interesting. They've got Weir at right back, who is a new gen. We'll have a sneaky little look at him, see if he's any good. Boric continues in goal for Salazar. 
Here we go, Betfred Cup final. Players are out on the pitch. Boys come out of the huddle. I think we'll just uh, praise the team here. Put them in a good mood. And Campbell pulling strings for them. Bruce Anderson, oh, he's had a long shot and scored. He's shot from range after 30 seconds, Bruce Anderson. And Boruch should have done a lot better. He's let it go in. Ah, oh, dear me. Doka with a back heel. Tony Brownlin tries to give it back to him, but Doka's not aware of it. Harper feeds Anderson and Anderson. Good finish, but uh, not what we needed. Oh, Simone's just got injured, bruised knee. So Ramon's had to come on for him. Let's fire up the team. And let's go very attacking as well. Here's Martin Bailey. Oh, whips it wide. So a good position that free kick as well. So... Here we go, Malia, she should be getting on the ball a bit more, San Clement gives it to Mr Monkey. Brian Keady looks for a 4 e the right back, he's played it in field, we are, the new gen is uh, headed it out towards our defence, Tony Brown picks it up, gives it Doka, then plays it forward, Anderson's through again. Oh, tried to chip Boric, but he didn't fall for it. Here's Melia, putting one in for Ramon. Set the crossbar and come back out again. But it was offside anyway. Have to demand more from the boys. Malia's injured, so Matondo's going to come on now. Good lord. It's carnage. Absolute carnage. Uh, let me just... Uh, I have faith in you. I'm going to tell them. I have faith in you. Go make the difference. There you go. Right. We've had six, uh, seven shots. They've had three. We've had four on target. They've had two. I'll make that eight shots on target now. Um, oh, sloppy ball. Afori wins it back. Martin Bailey gives it Ramon. Again, sloppy ball. Brian Keady to Tony Brown. Looks forward and gives it to McClaw. Just sloppy at the moment. This is not looking good for us. Intercept it. Don't bring him down. Oh, did I not just say don't bring him down? Mr. Monkey. Oh, no. Is this going to be Anderson as well? It is. Come on, Baruch. Oh, he's gone the wrong way. It's 2 0 in a better Fred Cup final to Aberdeen, though. Oh, bugger. Right. Let me sort this out. Oh, hang on. Right. I think... If my defence can stop playing funny buggers here and just let me put a player in there Jesus Christ football manager sorts your ass out oh my lord why does it have to be so sodding difficult to just move your players in those positions as well I feel like a whiny little bitch but it's so irritating oh right 
Mr. Monkey, you're on red there, aren't you? So, you're on fumes. I would like to say flames, but you're not. So, Morelli's going to have to come on for you. Now, we have Doka there. On the left. Um, I think Afori is going to have to go play right wing back. Morelli Morelli's going to have to come back to centre half. Um, just going to stick Hayden Bell in there on his own. Right, so Morelli is going to have to be a libero and attack. Um, Afori is going to have to be a wing back. And attack. Doka is going to have to be a wing back and attack. Aiden Bell is going to have to be a deep line playmaker and defend. Matondo inside forward attack. Right, Ramon. It's gonna. I'm gonna have him as a pressing forward that attacks. I think. Right, and then if we go to our position instructions, let's close their players down. Let's get stuck into their midfield, and then we're gonna close down every single. One of their defenders put them under pressure and the keeper too. In fact, we may even just give him a kick. Um, Murray's already got injured, so let's give, give him a kick. Neil Weir is decent. Right winger. Right. Confirm those changes. Here's Ramon now. Ramon goes past Weir. And another man crosses. Get in. Martin Bailey pulls one back. It's 24th goal of the season. And we're going to a very attacking lineup now. We're going to go with three at the back. One in midfield. Two wing backs. Two wingers. And uh, a couple of strikers. This is going to be a almighty comeback. If we do it. There you go. It's a 5-1-4 formation. Come on boys. One more goal. Brian Keady to a Fori. He gets it back. Play a positive ball. Why have you gone all the way back to the keeper, you... Oh, have a word. Morelli, Zayden Bell. He's found San Clement. He's gone past the challenge. Plays in Martin Bailey. Oh, keeper makes an outstanding save and Brown puts behind for a corner. Right, put on someone's head, Matondo. Oh, nearly San Clement. Morelli gives it back to Matondo. Oh, it's in. Get in. Oh, the referee's got his flag up, you dirty git. Matondo was offside by the time he put it in. Come on now. Get stuck in, Aiden. Go on, Ramon. Matondo playing in Bailey. Must be. Oh, the keeper's made a worldy save again. Come on, lads. Big effort now. Come on. Oh, good tackle there. Just thinking if we played Matondo and San Clement in the middle, would that help? I don't think it would. Oh, come on, boys. One more go. Come on, one more shot. We've dominated. 
Oh, poo. Oh. It's Ross County all over again. Oh, it's Aberdeen 2, Celtic 1 and a Betfred Cup final. We've lost. It's tragic. Oh. Let's give them their moment in the sun. It's only the Betfred Cup. It's not like we haven't won it like 10 times in a row now. Absolutely gutted. Just cheesed off gutted. Everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. Ah, oh, well, there you go. Sorry about that, boys. Mine Bailey got a 7.2 and a goal. Unacceptable. You can look as demotivated as you want, I don't care. Just unacceptable to be losing that. Oh, we were shocking today. Absolute disgrace of a result, said Roddy McAllister. Cameron McDonald said, what a load of rubbish. Oh. Gary Hardy says, such is cup football. That's why people love it so dearly. Lily Cummings says, nothing like going home disappointed. Silence, yeah? <laughs> a disappointed in silence. Oh my God. That's bad. Tom Richard, our goalkeeper, by the way. Hell of a game he had. <laughs> Hell of a game. Uh, he's come for their youth ranks as well. He's conceded 99 goals in 77 appearances. That's actually not that bad. Melly is injured for a couple of days. Joaquin San Clement. Sack your agent, pal. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> he's fired him. Right, good stuff. Alright, I will leave it there. I will see you all tomorrow. Um, oh God, I can only apologise for that Aberdeen result. They do happen. Uh, just shows it's not fake. It's all, well, it is fake really. It's football manager, but it's, <laughs> the results are real. We might be dominating uh, in the league quite a lot, but some of these European games and even the cup ones can be tricky. Um, but it'd be no fun if we just literally won every single game, would it? So, uh, yeah. Better luck next time. We'll be better tomorrow. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.